Nico? Yeah. Uh, hey, Adeline. What are you doing here? Did you fall asleep in the storybook? I got lost in the pages. Didn't you hear me after the show last night? I shouted that I found the way out. Uh-huh. I thought you were right behind me. Well, I was. What happened? I started reading ahead in the storybook, and, well, I lost track of time. Nico, you're not supposed to read ahead. I know, but the stories are just interesting. But I couldn't help myself. Well, in that case, you must be super duper prepared for... No. Today's big... I don't test well when I'm tired. Pop quiz! This pop quiz is about a hero we met in chapter one. You mean three? Nico, don't give away the answer. The question is, what was the name of our hero from chapter one and where was she from? I actually know that one. I guess sleeping in the book made me prouder than ever. It looks like we're getting a call from Emily. Hello, can you tell us the answer? Hi guys, I remember her because I thought she was so brave. Her name is Rafif and she's from Lebanon. Correct! Rafif sure is memorable. Definitely, she is a hero because she faced her fears. She believes it is better to go to school than stay at home and be afraid. I thought every kid around the world went to school like you and me. I thought so too, but it turns out some kids like Rafif don't always have that option. Maybe they can't get a school. Maybe they don't even have a school. Oh yeah, I was reading about that last night. Really? Why don't you tell us about it? For example, in Brazil, there's a huge rainforest. It's called the Amazon rainforest. That's where the Amazon River is, right? Yes, they actually use the river as a way to... Well, I better not spoil the story. I want to learn more about it. Turn the page, Nico. The Amazon rainforest is the largest tropical rainforest in the whole world. It's almost as big as the entire United States. There are a lot of people who live in the Amazon, including kids just like you. They like to play soccer and sing songs. And they love to go to school. But the Amazon rainforest is no ordinary place. It is filled with lots of rivers and lots of trees. This means that building roads is not always possible. But no matter where you live, every kid should get a chance to go to school. So instead of school buses, they use school boats. Some kids have to wake up at sunrise just to catch a ride. But they are devoted and they want to learn. They remember when there was no school at all. Now they get to read and write. They got to color and draw. The students in this part of the rainforest love their new school. All aboard! Those kids are really devoted to school. Yes, they are. Can you imagine waking up at sunrise just to catch the school boat? No way, I can barely get out of bed before even school starts. And I live one block away. Can't say I'm surprised. Although taking a boat to school does sound pretty cool. All aboard! Let's see what our viewers at home think about school kids in Brazil. It's time for... What, what do, do you think? think? We're getting a call from the Meek. Hi there, can you tell us what you think of the kids who get up early and ride boats to school? I agree with Nico. I can walk to school in five minutes, but sometimes I don't even want to go. Now that I know that some kids around the world have to wake up early and catch a boat just to get to school, I want to be better about appreciating what I have. Well said, Lameek. Sometimes we forget how blessed we are to have schools to go to. I think we could all get better at appreciating what we have. I'm on board with that. I'm never going to get used to that. 
I hope all this school talk will help you with your memorization. I know what that means. It's time for Bible Blast! This week, we're learning Psalms 27.1. By the end of the week, we should all have it memorized. I'm ready! Well, let's put it up on the screen and see if we can remember the missing word. We'll give you viewers at home 10 seconds to think about this verse. Can you remember the missing words? Nico, tell him what's missing. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Great job, Nico. And great job to all of you viewers at home. Keep working on it and soon you'll have the whole thing memorized. Well, that's about it for today. Wait, aren't you forgetting to remind the viewers at home about... I don't know what you're talking about. Tomorrow's big... I really don't know what you're talking about. Pop quiz! Oh, boy. I gotta go home and study. Wrong way! I know. <laughs> Thank you.